Hey guys, like, subscribe, bell, face. Let's get into the video. Good morning. You are on the Star Wars lamp. I am in front of my tree that is dying. Very much so dying. Coffee. With the lipstick marks on both sides because I'm a classy broad. This is just like Christmas morning flavored coffee with heavy whipping cream and some sugar because I am completely out of pure and I'm not really keto at the point at this point. Still trying to figure out what I'm going to do in the new year and go from there. I figured out a vlog today just because I, you know, I'm still doing vlogmas up until Friday. So yeah, um, baking some cookies today. Dave went to get Brandon. I'm going to make them go look at Christmas lights either tonight or tomorrow night. Monday, my new schedule starts. Now next Saturday, I have to work 1230 to eight or 12 to 8.30, that's what I'm working. I'm okay with that. I willingly switched my shift to help the girl out. Um, but that's really it. I don't have anything else to say to you guys today. Nothing really big. I do have to go food shopping. Because I actually have to start cooking dinner again. So we're going to do that today. Um, but for now, I'm just going to go and wait for some cookies to be baked. Start the dough on the chocolate chip ones. I literally just sat down, but I can play my hometown radio station on she who shall not be named. Um, it's B101 and they always do Christmas music and I put it on today and like, I just got super nostalgic. Like, I don't care how old you are, certain things just remind you of being young and at home. And I think it was the Ronette Santa Claus would be coming to town. Hold on. Okay, Alexa, stop playing. I don't know who it's by. I thought it was by the Ronettes. It's not. But there's a certain version of Santa Claus is coming to town. It might be the Pointer Sisters? It's the Pointer Sisters! How would I remember that? This song. That specific song just fills me with glee. Just fills me with glee. This and the Bruce Springsteen version. I like it. My sugar cookies that I literally just dumped on a silicone mat have finished cooking. So I'm going to go and... I thought I heard Dave's truck. I'm going to go and get them out of the oven. And I'm going to listen to some music that brings me back to the early 90s, late 80s. And make myself feel old. So I made all of the cookies. I did a double batch. I have sugar. These turned out a little bit darker than I'd like, but it, I still have to do all this batter because I did a double batch because I'm going to ship some to Jersey. It's Sunday morning. I am on my way to the outlets and to Starbucks because I have a little girl date this morning with my friend Casey. Uh, we are going to get some coffee and then hopefully not get rained on because it's pouring outside now. I shouldn't say it's pouring, it's draining, it's raining, but not pouring. We're supposed to be there together in 15 minutes. It takes me about 45 minutes to get there and I'm just now leaving my house because uh, she was running late. So I kind of took a little bit of extra liberty and then I fucked around and put in my contacts after my makeup and that was annoying, but I'll get there. So yeah, yesterday was a good day. Um, the kids showed up, uh, he is sick. So that's super fun. Uh, he has a cold. He's just got like a super stuffy nose and like a little bit of a sore throat. So we are just going to pump him full of some flu meds. It's not the flu even. It's just a cold. Um, just from the weather change and everything. So we're going to do that for him today. I have to go to Walmart and get some stuff. Yesterday we did like a two hour Facebook messenger call with his family. So it was Dave and Brandon, my in-laws, my 12 year old sister-in-law, uh, and then my brother-in-law, his wife and their two kids. And it was hysterical because their little, their kids are little, like they're both under three. And, uh, that was my last night. We didn't even really eat dinner because yesterday Dave brought home Chick-fil-A for lunch. And then we kind of just snacked on cookies because that is, that is Christmas time in my household. You want dinner? Here's a cookie because I'm that parent. Chick
just throwing that out there. But their asses were up until like four or five in the morning. And I'm like, I looked at Dave this morning. I was like, what time did you go to bed? Cause I went to bed at like one. I was like, I'm, I'm tapping out. And uh, he's like, I don't know, like four. I mean, is that when the kid went to bed? He goes, I don't know. I think I heard him like up there playing a video game. I'm like, my mother would have beat my butt if I had been up until 5 a.m. Christmas vacation or not. I really hope I'm not getting sick because I can feel like something in my throat, but I've had like a mild sore throat for like a couple days, but it just, it comes and goes and it's mostly when I'm in my bedroom because my bedroom, I always have a fan going and I think this might just be wake up sore throat. So I'm just being a hypochondriac. I'm sure on that note, I'm going to go, I'm going to, I'm going to go and I will talk to you later. My butt's very toasty with this little thing on and I'm digging it. I am such an a-hole. <laughs> I was completely in work mode and bypassed the exit to go to the outlets. Luckily, I realized it because I saw uh, the fireworks station and I was like, oh, oh, that's the last exit before Florida. <laughs> so I was like, I texted Casey real quick. I'm like, so now I'm the asshole who completely bypassed the exit. She's like, girl, we are two peas in a pod. And I was like, that we are. Luckily, it was just like a quick turn. It was easier for me to take the GPS way than to get back on 10. And now I'm on Baldwin Beach Expressway, which is where I got pulled over for going 75, which right now I'm going 75, uh, while it was raining. Uh, a, a police officer pulled me over and was like, uh, ma'am, do you, do you know how fast you're going? And I was having a really bad day. Like, I had literally just gotten into an argument with my former district manager because of the way I left the apartment. He's like, I told you to vacuum. I told you to do this. You left me this, this, and this. I was like, I left those things for the property manager that is currently there. They should be cleaned out soon. The couches, I'm sorry. I didn't realize they were going to cost you an extra pickup fee. Didn't, didn't really think twice about it. I said, as far as the floor, the vacuum was packed and at the back of the van before I realized it. And he goes, well, you should have let me know. I said, I'm sorry. I was busy dealing with the fact that it took us five days and four moving trucks to get from Alabama or to get from New Jersey to Alabama. He's like, Aaron, you know, this is going to go in your HR record and blah, blah, blah. And I went, all right. He's like, you'll never be able to get an apartment again. I was like, again, all right. And when I told my current boss, what is there? There's like an itchy there. When I told my current boss, he goes, oh, I already saw the email. I went, what? He goes, yeah, he emailed me. And I sent it to your former boss, Chris. Because when I moved down here, my boss was my former trainer in New Jersey. Very all in the family there. And he's like, yeah, I sent it to Chris. I'm like, why? He goes, because it was hysterical. He goes, if they had known the condition you got that apartment in, he wouldn't have said a word. I'm like, right, because I had to clean up human uh, no-no square hair out of the bathroom. So the fact that I left some bobby pins and return address labels on the ground shouldn't really be a big deal. Anyway, that's my story on that little mini tangent, if you will. Uh, but I had just been having like a bad day and the cop pulls me over and he's like, do you know, do you know how fast you're going? I'm like, no, I don't, you know, what, can you just give me the ticket? He goes, well, I just want you to be aware. He's like, I see how the, the New Jersey plates. I'm like, yeah, we literally just moved here. Like, not even two weeks ago. He goes, all right. He's like, well, I'm, I'm going to give you a ticket. And I was like, yeah. He goes, and you just be careful because, and I quote, them, their cows get slippery and can get out through that fence. And I'm looking at the fence, which actually, this is exactly where he pulled me over. It's, there's like this much of a gap between the things. I'm like, how slippery does the cow get? Like, I, there's no way unless that cow chews through that fence there's no way it's getting out there's no way and now it's like an ongoing thing with them their cows that was like a 238 dollar ticket too which sucks and then i wound up having to go to driving school like two days before my birthday and my boss just laughed at me the whole time he was a great boss like i'm so mad that he moved districts and we got that asshole that we dealt with who I suck up for. In case you guys haven't realized, I'm still a little bit bitter about the whole extra space thing. And I know I should like let it go. And I do until I start to like really think about it or I tell a story. And then I'm just like, those MFers did me dirty. 
they were gonna fire me because I have a YouTube channel and I wore the extra space shirt. That's why if like you look at my vlogs from like this time last year, you see me like this, if I'm wearing a branded shirt. Cause I don't want anybody to know where I work. Like I'll tell people individually, but I don't want people, like the mass majority of people to know where I work. So like I'll just, I'll just start going off. Like I don't, it had to be because I was approaching probably gonna be about $19 an hour and he didn't want to pay me what I was worth. And I mean, not that $19 is, it's not chump change, but it's not like the end all be all for salary, but it was an extra space. I was getting close to being capped. Like I probably would have been capped either this year or next year. I mean, obviously it is the best thing that ever happened to me, especially with the direction the company went into, excuse me, and just overall, but like, I don't know, man. That was something. What's this place going to be? That's a pretty storage unit. Oh, that's not going to be anywhere. That is already a storage facility. I don't know. Sometimes I miss it. Like, I miss the atmosphere. Like, I was in storage from 2004, 5. 2005, I started August 2005 until October of, thir of uh, what the hell year? I leave, 19. So, I was... I was there for a while and uh you know I would say that was like my first real career if you will now I'm in a call center but I have the ability to go in different directions with this call center and actually make it a career not be on the phones for all of it um my goal is to definitely not be on the phones for the rest of it I definitely don't want to be on the phones for the rest of it there are so many cows over there I hope they don't get through that their fence seriously there are so many cows <gasps> There's a black and white one. I never see a black and white cow. Haha, <laughs> that was fun. Anyway, can you see them all? The little black dots over there? Uh, I don't even know what I was saying. I'm all over the place and I haven't even had caffeine. That might be why I'm all over the place. I don't know. I just thought I would let you in on that little tidbit. It was a lot of information for me to give you and none of it was like useful. So hi, uh, it's two o'clock. We had quite the day. Uh, we had a lot of fun. We did some shopping. I got my sister done. I got to wrap it all today. Um, still have to finish my nephew, but I can't find anything that I really like for him. So I think I'm just gonna get him a shit ton of candy and put it in a box. Um, and then I'm gonna mail it out tomorrow morning, I believe, through UPS most likely, because I have to be in work at 9 a.m. and UPS work opens at 7.30. So I'll just get up early and go. Um, I think I'm going the long way home. That's fine. Am I? I don't remember. But it was a lot of fun. We walked the outlets. Um, I got a Kate Spade face mask, so that's nice. They're on the back seat somewhere. Um, and then we went to Buffalo Wild Wings for dinner because she can only eat protein. Uh, because like I said, she got the gastric sleeve surgery or whatever it was that she got. Uh, so I was like, well, Buffalo Wild Wings were. She's like, that's perfect. And then I proceeded to eat all of my food. So, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. And she was like, we really need to do this. She's like, I needed this more than I realized. I'm like, me too. Like we just needed a girl's day. You know what I mean? And it was nice. Like, it's nice if you have somebody that you get along with so well. So we're just like, let's just not have it be like eight hour, or, you know, eight months in between meetings. So, but that was it. That's all I wanted to say. I have to hold. Dave called me. So I gotta go take the kid to get him a gift for Christmas. Um, I honestly don't even know what I was saying to you guys. I really don't. I'm gonna listen to some Christmas music and relax and go home. And I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna be done vlogging for today, I think. I'll see you guys tomorrow.